Hello world, Geriatric Geek here. How in the heck are you? I hope you're doing great. It's another beautiful morning in North Las Vegas. Wednesday morning, the 27th of April, 2022, as of the recording of this video. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, yesterday I did an out and about video. If you guys haven't seen it yet, check it out. Um, I went to Walmart, Best Buy, and Target and uh, found a few things you know um, I wasn't expecting to find much on the uh, shelves but we found a couple things and uh, I added a few things to my collection just because I could and because it was such a really weak release week um, yeah so let me show you what I picked up um, if you guys did watch that video you also get the context for this um, I showed something in the clearance section in Walmart. Yes, I did it. I picked up the Talking Turbo Man from Funko. Of course, this is from the uh, movie Jingle All the Way from 1996, I believe. Had uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jim Belushi, Sinbad. Of course, Sinbad and Arnold played the two uh, main characters where they were battling to find this product in in store for their sons for Christmas. You know, it's a family Christmas movie. But, uh, yeah, this thing has been going, I think it was like 39 or something originally, or 34 maybe. I can't remember exactly, but uh, I wasn't going to pick it up at that price point. But my grandkids, uh, you know, over time they'd said they'd, they'd be interested in it, or at least having it here at the house to play with. So, at... Uh, for clearance yesterday, what the heck? They had two of them on the clearance rack in Walmart. So, uh, yeah, I thought this would be fun to get. Let me show you the side there. In the back. Electronic lights and sounds. Which of course, it's from Jingle all the way. Turbo Man, he saves the world, of course. <laughs> there you go. So I thought that was kind of funny. When I saw that, I couldn't believe it. Yes, I I do check the clearance aisle at Walmart most every time I go in there, just for kicks, because you never know what you're going to find. Prime example. So, anyway, I also found some movies. So let's talk about those. I got a couple from Amazon that were very inexpensive. These were not just released yesterday. These, these were released... Uh, not too long ago, but I uh, thought, you know, I'm a big fan of the Sicario movies. And so this was like, I think, five bucks on Amazon. I'm pretty sure it's still available on there. But uh, then I, after I got this, I realized it's not at all related to the Sicario movies. Uh, it's called Night of the Sicario. It has Blu-ray and digital. Um, so, yeah, this is not rated really highly at all. I think about 35% of the people that watch it like it. But, uh, eh, this used to be called Blindsided before they changed the name to probably use uh, the uh, use the reputation, reputation of the earlier Sicario movies. And uh, I suspect it worked on me. <laughs> I'm going to check it out. It looks interesting. Um, Natasha Han Hens Wow. Henstridge and Costas Mandalore star in this action-packed supernatural thriller. That will That's kind of a, one of the reasons I got it, supernatural. Super, I misread that. <laughs> this action-packed, suspenseful thriller that will shock you at every turn while transporting the family of a key witness in a federal trial against the cartel DEA agents are ambushed in a fatal shootout. Now the survivors, including the witness's young daughter, must take refuge in a nearby home as the ruthless Sicarios hunt them down. With danger around every corner and a violent hurricane wiping out any chance of outside help, they must play a deadly game of cat and mouse with the cartel to live through the night. 
Let me know if you guys have seen this <laughs> wannabe Sicario movie. Um, yeah, whether you liked it or not. It was cheap. What the heck? <clears throat> but, so I got all these yesterday. I didn't pick them up necessarily. Um, I saw Nicolas Cage and it was inexpensive also on Amazon. Frozen Ground. The Frozen Ground. I've never seen this movie. And uh, Nick, he, this is... I'm trying to get a bunch of his stuff. And I, I like Nicolas Cage. He's, he's not doing some great stuff right now, but uh, he has over time really done some really fun stuff. So this is R-rated, uh, 105 minutes, 2013 thriller. Um, most people that watch this, about 70% of the people that watch this liked it. And it's actually based on true events. Um, I love Cage and, uh, who was it, Cusack? Yeah, John Cusack and Vanessa Hudgens. Based on the shocking true story of Alaska State Trooper Jack Halcom, who set out to the to end the murderous rampage of one of the country's most prolif prolific serial killers, Robert Hansen, with the help of Cindy, a would-be victim who narrowly escaped Hansen's clutches, will Hancom be able to negotiate the seedy underworld of Anchorage? and the expense, expansive Alaskan wilderness in time to end this cat-and-mouse game before another victim is claimed? We shall see. Let me know if you've seen this Nick Cage movie. I haven't. So, uh, yeah. Kind of want to check it out. Now, I did pick this up yesterday in Walmart. If you guys saw me uh, pan around, there's a whole bunch of stuff that very inexpensive. That's right, another Nicolas Cage movie. Knowing. For some reason, I did not have this in my collection, so for like five bucks or six dollars, I think, I, not very expensive, I picked this up. This is from 2009, 121 minutes, PG 13, a sci fi thriller. Uh, it gets pretty good reviews, and I've heard about it, I've just never seen it. Um, I enjoy it. I, I, I think I'll enjoy it, but yeah, we'll see. Let me know if you guys have seen this one. Nicolas Cage stars in this edge-of-your-seat sci-fi thriller as John Kessler, a professor... Whoa. Wow, that was weird. <laughs> My computer just blinked blank for some reason. Anyway... Yes, I'm still recording. So knowing, you can start that again. Nicholas Cage stars in this edge-of-your-seat sci-fi thriller as John Kessler, a professor who does deciphers a coded message with terrifying, accurate predictions about every major world disaster. Looking to protect his family and prevent future calamities, he enlists the reluctant help of Diana Wayland, daughter of the now-deceased author of The Prophecies. His quest to understand the messages and his own family's involvement in them becomes a heart-pounding race against time as he faces the ultimate disaster. Sounds interesting. I've heard about it. Oh, I see this thing is trying to do an update. <laughs> Man, that freaked me out. Computer glitched. Knowing. So, yeah, I got that for real cheap. And guess what? There was another Nicolas Cage movie. The Trust. Nicolas Cage and Elijah Wood in this one. Uh, R-rated, 2016. 92 minutes. It's a crime thriller. Um, this actually was the last film that Jerry Lewis was in. Uh, and... Another interesting part is this is set in Las Vegas. Of course, Nicolas Cage lives here in Las Vegas. He lives in a gated community over in Summerlin, about 15 miles from here, or 15 minutes from here, not miles, about seven miles from here. So, yeah, The Trust. Never seen this one. Oscar winner Nicolas Cage and Elijah Wood star as Vegas cops 
who stumble upon the location of a hidden vault belonging to local drug dealers. Immediately, they devise a master plan to make off with the mad with the mad stocks of cash they are sure are stored within. But what they find inside puts their lives in grave dan danger in this action-packed, twist-filled crime thriller. Have you seen it? Let me know. I have not seen, not seen it. Next up, another Alicia Silverstone movie. She's been doing a lot here lately. That's right, Last Survivors. This actually did release yesterday. Nice little slippy dip, as you can see. Last Survivors is not rated. 98 minutes from 2021. Um, it's a thriller. About half the people that watch it like it. So, going to give it a go. Going to give it a go. Evidently, it's, I like post-apocalyptic movies, so this is right up my alley. Troy and his son Jake live off the grid in a post-apocalyptic world where intruders are dealt with in the most brutal fashion. But an encounter with a beautiful woman, Alicia Silverstone, sets off a chain reaction that unravels their world in a shocking flood of secrets, lies, and homegrown horror. It's put out by Vertical Entertainment. So there you go. Can't wait to check this one out. Another new one yesterday. Dead by Midnight, Why to Kill? Dead by Midnight, Why to Kill? Not rated, 2022 release, 96 minutes. Apparently it's a horror anthology um, with Kane Hodder, Bill Mosley. That's right, two icons of the horror genre. A solid gold winner in my beastly book, says Horror Fuel. It's Halloween at local television sta station WKIZ when the vengeful Mistress of Midnight arrives to host her annual horror movie marathon. Dead by Midnight? Be careful because she is out to prove that she is still the most hellish host around and those who watch will be dead by midnight. Starring Kane Hodder with Bill Mosley, Aaron Brown, Hannah Fearman, and Linnea Quigley. Every character is perfectly portrayed and brought to life on screen. Hmm. Looks fun. Anthology film. Dead by Midnight. Why to Kill. And if you guys watch my video from yesterday, you'll notice that there was a whole wall of new release kind of things from basically package different packaging for old releases kind of things and one of them was this ma and pa kettle complete comedy collection 10 movies now this has been released before like 2000 i want to say 2011 or so i don't have that release but this is a 2022 release by universal and it's uh not read not rated ma and pa kettle of course they were around back in this, these 10 movies took place, or aired, from 1947 to 1954. So, <clears throat> I have seen a couple of them, and I have a couple of them, I believe on single DVDs or VHS maybe. I don't remember exactly, but I know I've seen a couple of these. But glad to have all 10 of them in my collection. The Egg and I, Ma and Pal Kettle, Ma and Pa Kettle Go to Town, Ma and Pal Pa Kettle Back on the Farm, Ma and Pa Kettle at the Fair, Ma and Pa Kettle on Vacation, At Home, at Waikiki. Can't wait to watch that one. The Ozarks, and The Kettles on Old McDonald's Farm. Get ready for some good old-fashioned fun with the Kettle family in the Ma and Pa Kettle Complete Comedy Collection, featuring all ten of their classic films. After their scene-stealing roles in The Egg and I, Ma and Pal Kettle, Marjorie Main, I love her, she did really good work back when, earned their own starring turn and a wildly popular franchise was born. The hillbilly duo have their hands full with a ranch, ran, ram shackle farm and a broad brood of rambunctious children. I think they had like 
18, 19, I can't remember how many kids, but there was a bunch. When the future comes to Colin in the farm of modern houses, exotic locales, and newfangled ideas, Ma and Pa must learn how to make the best of it with luck, pluck, and a little country charm. <laughs> Ma and Pa Kettle. Let me know if you've enjoyed any of these movies previous. They're all in black and white. And uh, I can't wait to revisit some of them. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, by the way, that, that set is, or at least the 2011 one, is on uh, Amazon for like $7.99 right now. I think I got that from, for $10 at Walmart. So a new release. Next up, something with a slippy dip. Expired. This released yesterday. Uh, R-rated, 2022, 103 minutes. It's a sci-fi, kind of a romance thing, apparently. Uh, does not get great reviews, but it is an Australian film. Looked interesting. Thought I'd give it a go, considering there just was not much released yesterday. Ryan Quanton and Hugo Weaving. Um, Hugo is from the Matrix franchise. Star in this futuristic thriller set in a neon-drenched metropolis. As Jack works as a hitman, his lonely life is altered by two strangers, one a club singer, the other a scientist. Jack and the singer fall in love, but as their relationship grows stronger, Jack grows physically weaker, unable to assassinate the targets he seeks, and it doesn't take long for the scientist to discover the shocking reason behind Jack's deadly affliction. It's put out by Lionsgate and Grindstone. We'll see. <laughs> and last but not least, I was not going to get this, but I thought, you know what? It's a slow week. What the heck? That's right. I did end up picking up Moonfall, the Best Buy Steelbook, exclusive Steelbook packaging. Love this. Of course, this is a Lionsgate release. Moonfall is PG-13 from 2022, 130 minutes long. It's a sci-fi disaster film. Uh, stars Halle Berry. Um, I like disaster flicks, and this is an over-the-top disaster flick. Um, evidently, it great, has great visuals. and In 4K, this is going to be, I think, yeah, this is 4K, Blu-ray, and digital. So, yeah. I can't wait to check it out. Let's I'll tell you what. Let's open this up right now and take a look real quick at what it looks like on the inside. I'm not going to do a separate unboxing of this. Let's just get this open. Take a look. Well, Lionsgate has been knocking it out of the park with their releases as far as the art, art on the, the packaging. So there it is. And let's get this card or this packet. There we go. Ah, so there you go. Basically the same on the front. But then you've got the, the moon, I guess, is breaking apart and hurling hurling hurling, hurling, it's coming real fast at the earth. <laughs> so there you go. Moonfall. Does this also say, yes, it does on the edge. It says first pressing. You guys can't see that, but uh, Lionsgate has started putting that uh, on the uh, edge right here. Let me quickly read this. In Roland Emmerich's Moonfall, a mysterious force knocks the moon from the orbit around Earth and sends it hurtling on a collision course with life as we know it. With mere weeks before impact and the world on the brink of annihilation, NASA executive and former astronaut Joe Fowler, played by Halle Berry, is convinced she has the key to saving us all. But only one astronaut from her past, Brian Harper, played by Patrick Wilson, and a conspiracy theorist, K.C. Houseman, played by John Bradley, believe her, the unlikely heroes will mount an impossible last-ditch mission into space, 
only to find out that their moon is not what we think it is. Interesting. Now, a lot of people say that this movie is a piece of crap, so uh, I'll be the judge of that for myself, obviously now. It has a uh, digital code. There you go. And then there's the inside. Kind of a, what is that on the left there? Kind of a space shuttle kind of thing. Yeah, space shuttle kind of thing. We'll take this out. Let's we'll look at the whole thing. This is the 4K. Kind of neat. Got the astronauts floating around there. And then here's the Blu-ray. And then the inside art. It's not too much reflection, huh? There you go. All right, guys. Well, that is it for my out and about haul from the 26th of April. I enjoyed uh, going out and about yesterday. And, uh, yeah, picking up a few things, including Moonfall. So I'm going to watch it, be the judge for myself, and see what it's like. So hope you guys found everything you were looking for yesterday. Um, let me know in the comments what you picked up, and uh, if you've seen any of these things that I, I picked up, and what you thought of them. If you like my videos, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you know when I drop another video. So, hey, that's it from North Las Vegas. You guys keep smiling, keep having fun, keep that positive attitude about you, and until next time, peace.